Hey guys, it's Phantom Man, and today I have the RC car back again, and this time it's got drive shafts. So. So, last time I built the differential, which lets it turn easier when one wheel has to move quicker than the other, and still get pushed forward. So, so this week I made drive shafts for it using universal joints so that I can use suspension on it, and it'll still be able to turn. So, I think it works pretty good. It has a specific radius that it can't turn past. Like, right here is about the best you can get, because past that, it starts to get stuck on stuff like this. But, I think this is about all I should need. It goes down to about there. So, one thing I'm noticing already is that this body... It's pretty small for how wide these are, and so are the wheels. Just look at this. So, I'm not really sure if I'm going to keep it like this. It looks kind of silly. So, I might make bigger wheels and a bigger body. I'm not really sure. Or, I could shorten these. I'd move it into about there. I think that looks more normal. So, next problem I ran into is I was going to try and make the wishbones for the suspension and stuff so I could attach the wheels to the body so they can't just go like this all the time, which is obviously not that good. So I tried doing that, but since the wheels are so small compared to the size of this axle, in order to keep it out of the way, I had to go all the way down here, which, which, to get out of the way of this thing, goes down almost to the ground. So that wouldn't work. So, what I've thought is, it might work just to use the top only, and have this as the bottom, and then it wouldn't be at risk with hitting the ground or anything and it would still keep it stable. So looking at this RC car right here, which I definitely did not make, it should work if the suspension was attached to the top arm and this was just gone, as long as this piece can't slide out. On this car, the axle can't detach just from force. You'd have to take these out to do anything. So on this one, it's just stuck in there with a little piece going sideways, but it can just pull right out. So, if the wheel just goes like this, it would detach. So, with this car, it wouldn't be able to do that, so I think just the top one should work. So, I'm going to get to work on that for the next video. So, let me know what you think about that. I'm going to look it up, see what other people have done, if they've done this before. But, I don't see any problems with it, so that's in the next episode. But anyways, that's the end of this video. Like it if you liked it, subscribe for more, and see ya!